My dog messed up. <laughs> I asked Hamilton if he can pick up a few ingredients from the grocery store, and he came back with a farm animal. Eggs, right? I can't blame him for adopting a chicken after we both went to the grocery store and were pretty caught off guard by the price of eggs. But we need them since we're hosting a dog-friendly tea party for friends and family. You see, our family wrote a cookbook that we titled Barcuterie, which has over 25 dog-friendly charcuterie boards that dogs and humans can enjoy for any holiday or get-together. So, maybe the cost of eggs can make this feel like a royal tea party. Dog-friendly egg salad sandwich time. Let's get 10 of our eggs to a rolling boil, and once we get their hot tub going, we'll cover them up and let them cook for 10 to 12 minutes. And while those eggies cook, we gotta make their ice bath because it's important that we shock their temperature once they've soaked for a while. Now, I like salt, pepper, and paprika in my egg salad, but those seasonings won't be making it in here since we're only introducing ingredients that are dog-friendly. Once they've cooled, we'll peel the eggs and add them to a mixing bowl. We'll add about a cup of dill to the party too. Just because it's dog-friendly doesn't mean it can't be fragrant. Now, chop up a couple of celery stalks to give that egg salad that perfect texture that we know and love. Now, the binding ingredient here is light mayo. For a 10-egg egg salad, one cup of mayo should be just enough. Once you have all of the ingredients mixed, you can go ahead and grab your loaf, uh, your bread loaf. Now, we don't need to complicate things. White bread is all you need, and we're going to use a corgi cookie cutter to make our sandwiches a fun shape, but you don't have to use a cookie cutter if you're in a hurry. This is a judgment-free zone, everybody. And at this point, you have your dog-shaped bread and your egg salad mix, so get assembling so you have time to get dressed. There's company coming over. Gosh! Punctuality may not be our strong suit, but we're great at filling our guests' bellies. Now, we're going to need something sweet to balance out this barcuterie board. So cookies! Good call, Hammy. Peanut butter oat cookies have a place on any board. Let's get our oven preheated to 350 and add one ripe banana, about a cup of oats, one egg, and three tablespoons of peanut butter with no xylitol in it, and give that a good mix. Grab your favorite baking sheet, give it a light greasing, and begin placing one to two inch dollops of your mixture along the baking surface. Oven times may vary, but we let this batch sit for about 15 minutes and really enjoyed the consistency of it. And now it ain't barcuterie unless we put it all on a wooden plank. So we're gonna start by adding those freshly baked cookies down the center of the board and adding a pop of color with some strawberry slices on top. And in case you forgot we made egg salad sandwiches, here's your friendly reminder to give those Sammies enough real estate so that everybody has easy access to grabbing one. Now, we need to fill in the board with a supporting cast. Always remember to keep it playful. We love going with fresh fruits like raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries because they're loaded with antioxidants and add a ton of color and texture to your presentation. And before you know it, you're hosting a dog-friendly tea party for humans too. I'm hungry, Dad! Don't forget to always give a quick sample to your sous chef. Serving suggestions vary since every dog is different, but Hammy earned a taste. And remember to enjoy the spread too since barcuterie is an inclusive concept for humans to enjoy as well. So now your food is prepared and your hosts are dressed up. So the only thing left to do is to open the front door and put the tea on. As always, happy snacking, friends. Subscribe! Comment! Hit like it, guys!